been had a good walk around. Not seen anything. I had a chat with that guy across there. He got here this morning and he's seen one, so that is encouraging. But what's not encouraging is Pal did four nights in this swim. He just left this morning and he never saw a thing. I think the only thing I can do is just sit here and just wait till I see one in this bay. I can't see any benefit to just chucking rods out now. We've got to find where they are, haven't we? <laughs> I guess they're down here, but... All I could know, there could be a kilometre down there at the other end. So it's one of them. So I'm going to give it another hour. I'm just going to sit here. I've got my binoculars. See what see what happens. <laughs> first rod's going out then so I've clipped this one up onto a bit of gravel it's probably about 65 70 yards I've not had a fish off it before but it's, it's definitely a spot next rod's going out to an area that I caught fish from last May seen a lot of fish rolling on this spot I'm not quite sure what it is they like about it, don't feel any different to anywhere else, but you do seem to see a lot of fish on it. And I had an absolute peach off it in May last year, so it's getting a rig. I've nothing else to go on, so it's got to get a rig on it. A real good drop, I'm guessing about. 20 foot you tend to I know it sounds a bit daft but you do kind of get a feeling for it you count your lead down I've been fishing here enough now it's about right and like I say until I see something to make me do any different there's not a lot else I can do a little bit of something that I wanted to mention I've got a real like OCD of, of my main line well of any line that I'm using to be fair hook links leaders whatever uh, this rod, last time I went fishing, I was up at my lake and I, uh, I got a fish snagged, unfortunately. I got it all back, but this line did go through the snag. And although I can't feel any kinks on it, I can't risk it, you know. What did I do? I think I did 70 nights on this lake last year and I had 14 bites, something like that. So you lose a fish because you don't inspect your line then. It could be a few weeks before the next one and you'll uh, you'll regret it. I can't find, feel any kinks in it. It feels good, but I'm going to take 30 yards off it. And then in my head, it's a brand new line. I've re-spilled for the season. I'm going to make a new leader and a new hook link. And then I know if I lose a fish, then it's just one of them things. Probably there's a bit. You see? That's exactly what I'm talking about. There. Now this is brand new line, first time I went fishing with this line was last week. There's a kink, yeah. There's a little bit of damage there and that's enough, you know, that can sometimes be enough. I was fishing in, um, well it doesn't matter where I was fishing, but it was a good few years ago and there were two 30 pound commons in that lake and that was a time where East Yorkshire 30 pound common was a proper big fish. And I lost it, and I lost it because I had uh, damage on my main line that I should have sorted out. Uh, you live from your mistakes, I guess. I've never done that, and that was probably 17 years ago, something like that. And I'll never ever do that again, and that's a good example. Potentially, highly unlikely, but potentially I could have a 60 pound common on. And if it goes, because I didn't check it, then there's only one person you can blame, isn't there? Right, get a new rig sorted out, and we'll get this rod done. see where my finger is that's the swim we're fishing now and this is the ball that we're fishing into now if you see this green area yeah that's coming off my swim there if you follow it just round to the left there you see how it creates a little channel before you get into that really deep purple ball here well from from our swim there the, my last rod is going to try and get somewhere around here now that's 130 something like that yeah 
the marker for this rod to get onto that channel just double checking my hook point yep yeah, happy days yeah so the marker is just to the right hand side of the far pylon that's in the corner there okay yeah maybe worth mentioning this is something that i didn't do last year and something that i maybe should have done i've gone out and out fluorocarbon all the way through now uh, the reason being uh, the reason being i was stalking in the margins towards the last towards the end of last year and uh, my line won't quite pin down and a couple of stockies not experienced old fish stockies come through and i swear down you could just see it go ah! it saw my line and just went boom out of there didn't you know what i mean it just just saw like just a bit of line and just thought boom i'm out and that was a stocky that was like a 15 pound fish so yeah they're uh they're pretty tough to catch in here so I've gone all out fluorocarbon. I am going to sand coat my leads as well. I've got some sand from the lake bed. I'm going to coat my leads in that sand, but I ain't had time to do that for this trip. But that's something I'm going to possibly look at later on in the year. So, or yeah, in the next couple of weeks, if I'm honest. But yeah. So, right, we're going to do this rod. probably noticed there when I let the lead come down it was like significantly less than the other rod so I know I'm just on the edge of that shelf but that's fine for the time being like I say until we see something I'm kind of a little bit blind anyway so that's fine I'm happy with that I'm not going to start lobbing leads all over the place because if I have got something in my swim I'm going to try and uh, try and keep them there and they'll, they'll find it if they want to feed okay we're done cup of coffee you seen out, mate? You had out. What's biggest in here? What's biggest you've had out of here? What time you going, mate? Secretive bunch on here. Right guys, I've done 48 hours in that swim. I've been watching a lot and I've seen one this morning. Well, in fact, I've seen two. They, they weren't in my swim, so we're, we're moving. So apologies for the camera. I ain't got time to, uh, I ain't got time to mess about. I'm gonna have to get my casting head on. And I, I need 150 plus here eh, if I'm gonna get, and that's on, on the tip of them. The fish are at about 170. But if I can get a 150 casting, cast, casting out the water is difficult to do that. You can't cast off the bank in this swim, the trees are in the way. So casting off the water, it's difficult to get that body swing, you know, when you're in your waders. But that's going to be the plan. If I can get a 150 out of here, I can get onto the tip of where the fish are showing. I've seen three fish show. So we're, rather than camping, we're actually fishing now. Uh, that's a good sign. I'm still not convinced I'm going to get one. It's still going to be uh, probably odds still against me. But uh, we've got moving fish and they're almost accessible. So let's get the rods out. Definitely in the right place now. So let's get some baits on them. Okay, so that, that rig landed pretty much where I saw the closest fish. not far away from them at all. Okay then the last rod's going out now. Uh, it's going to be a zig rig. My kind of thinking is I've got my, my long rods out to where they were showing about a couple of hours ago and the sun's going to come out this afternoon. It is going to get a little bit milder so if fish come up in the water chances are they're going to move out of there and they're going to move across the shallower area which is where this rod's going to be so yeah 10 foot zig and we need to get it as, as close to the channel as close to the channel as we can get it ok 
Okay, the spot we're fishing to, these are the long rods that you saw me cast. We're just into the uh, reflection of the tree line there. I'm just getting some fizzing coming up. And my right hand rod just lifted up and dropped back. <laughs> fish showed on my zig rod which was good and then about 20 yards past it a proper big one come out 